It is said that Countess Elizabeth Bathory is the real inspiration behind Bram Stoker's Dracula. She is often referred to as the infamous lady, or is better known as the Blood Countess, because she bathed in the blood of at least 650 servant girls. Legend has it that one day, while an attendant girl was brushing her hair, she unintentionally pulled too hard at a hair tangle which caused Elizabeth some pain. Elizabeth got so mad she struck the girl with the back of her palm. The strike was so hard that Elizabeth drew blood. That night, she noticed that the area of her hand where the attendant girl's blood had been looked much more youthful than it has ever been in recent years. She figured that if that small amount of blood brought youthness to her hand, what more if she bathed her whole body in blood? Then her body's youthfulness would be restored. Elizabeth was born in Transylvania on August 7, 1560 to a privileged family surrounded by great wealth. She had it all. Looks, wealth, an excellent education, and a stellar social position. One of her uncles instructed her in Satanism, while her aunt taught her all about witchcraft and sadomasochism. As a child, Elizabeth suffered from epileptic seizures as well as extreme outbursts of rage which would be directed at a nearby servant. When she was about 11 or 12, she was engaged to be married to Ferenc Nadasdi, who was the son of a baron. It is said that Ferenc was known for disemboweling, impaling, and torturing his captives. Five years after the engagement, the two were married and had four children before Ferenc died in 1604. Although Ferenc participated in his wife's sadism, it wasn't until his death that Elizabeth's true evil nature surfaced. She also surrounded herself with servants who helped her in her practice. Young girls from villages near and far were lured to the castle with the promise that work was waiting for them and was never heard from again. Her sadistic activity started with the servants of the castle, girls from the village, and finally, girls who were of noble blood. This is where Elizabeth miscalculated. After the murder of a noble girl that she tried to pass on a suicide, the authorities decided to finally investigate because the rumors concerning Elizabeth's extracurricular activities finally reached King Matthias. During a night raid, officials searched the castle and saw dead bodies of young girls everywhere. At Elizabeth's trial, 300 servants and survivors testified against her. Witnesses stated that she would stab her victims to bite their breasts, hands, faces and arms, sticking needles into their lips, or burning them with red-hot irons. She would also stitch their mouths shut. Elizabeth would cover an unfortunate villager with honey and watch as insects and animals devoured them. Some victims were forced to cook and eat their own flesh forced some to stand in buckets of ice until they froze to death. Some would die via starvation or poison. Officially, there are 80 victims. During the trial, a witness came forward and stated that there are 650 victims and that Elizabeth kept a list of her victims. But this list or book was never discovered. Elizabeth and her cohorts were put on trial but only Elizabeth escaped execution. Instead, she was held in a solitary confinement in a room that had slits for air and food. She was found dead on August 21, 1614. Her body was buried in the church, but was moved soon to an undisclosed spot when villagers protested having her body in their cemetery. Thank you everybody for listening. Ako po si Twisted Mind and I am hoping that you guys have a great day. Shout out nga po pala kina kwentong nakakakilabot, pagkasagrado, Jasper Reed Stories, Dark Hub PH, Haplos ng Inig, Nerd, Casper Stories, Tales from the Creepy Noy, Eriza Miguel, Dreamwork Stories, 
Aubrey Delgado, Pinoy HC, at si Roger Roach TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you po.